Hi everyone. Today, I am going to present about my research. Let's begin now. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has greatly disrupted essential health services worldwide besides causing huge changes to everyone life. Yet, we shouldn't forget about cancer. One of the leading cause of death worldwide since being firstly diagnosed way back from ancient Egypt in 3000 BC. According to global cancer statistics, there are an estimated 19.3 million new cancer cases and almost 10 million cancer deaths occurred in 2020. Among many types of available treatments, chemotherapy is known as the main and most common treatment for cancer where it utilizes various types of drugs to destroy cancer cells. For decades chemotherapy has been an effective, reliable cancer treatments despite potential side effects being reported. Yet, some cancer patients do experience chemerase stones or their chemotherapy treatment is not effective or working as it should be. The main factors is due to overexpression of glutathione S transferase P1, GSTP1 protein or gene. On early 1990s, past researchers had started to conduct numerous studies and came up with eteracrinic acid as GSTP1 inhibitor for the purpose in regulating GSTP1 level into normal range. However, this first classic GSTP1 inhibitor was found to have significant side effects, with poor efficacy. Sadly, problems still remain unsolved. Hence, a bioinformatics-based research had been conducted to solve this problem. The objective of this study is to determine potential GSTP1 inhibitors which capable to exhibit an effective inhibition on the overexpression of GSTP1 protein with lowest possible side effects. How this research had been conducted. GSTP1 protein, 1EOH was chosen from Protein Data Bank, PDB. Reference inhibitor of eteracrinic acid and potential inhibitors discovered from literature review studies of orinofen, esatiostat hydrochloride, TLK199 and camphosphamide hydrochloride, TLK286 were downloaded from PubChem. BDOC was used to perform protein ligand docking between protein, GSTP1 and ligand, GSTP1 inhibitors that consists of both reference and potential inhibitors. Results were analyzed based on binding affinity and protein ligand interactions where these two main criteria will be used in determining the eligibility of potential inhibitors. Based on results analysis, TLK199 and TLK286 of high negativity binding affinities with majority number of critical amino acids as similar to reference inhibitor of eteracrinic acid have been identified as the potential GSTP1 inhibitors that may be capable in regulating GSTP1 level into normal range. Informatics is still a limited field in Malaysia and one of its major advantage is that researchers can conduct numerous studies from home without require to enter laboratory during this pandemic. In terms of impact, with these two potential inhibitors, cancer patients can now breath a sigh of relief in undergoing more effective chemotherapy which eventually led to successful recovery. In terms of potential TLK199 and TLK286, the newly discovered GSTP1 inhibitors in this study can be categorized as multipurpose drugs where TLK199 is previously used in treating myelodysplastic syndrome, MDS. Researchers can save up their time, energy, and funding to develop these novel inhibitors into commercial use as they have been a completely finished products in form of oral tablets or IV fluids at the market. Those novel GSTP1 inhibitors can be easily accessible and purchased by hospitals or research institutions for future clinical trials in treating cancer patients who experience chemerase stunts. Thus, TLK199 and TLK286 can be classified as potential GSTP1 inhibitors which known as one of the bright future prospects for cancer field worldwide. To conclude this research, we can be champion in anything. But the real champion in our life is being blessed with an ideal health.